Hello everyone and welcome back to the next lecture of control systems. In this presentation, we are going to discuss the types of system. So let's get started. We will first see the definition of the type of system. The type of system is defined as the number of poles of the system present at origin. It is defined for an open loop transfer function GSHS. It is not defined for a closed loop transfer function. Moreover, the system should be a negative unity feedback system. In a unity feedback system, the value of feedback gain is equal to 1 and that's why the output is directly connected with the input junction. In the previous lectures, we have already discussed that we are having two types of feedback. One is the positive feedback and the other one is the negative feedback. But the type of the system is only defined for a negative unity feedback system. In case of a unity feedback, when h is equal to 1, we can write the open loop transfer function equal to gs. So now we can say that the type of the system is the number of poles of the open loop transfer function gs present at the origin. And the system should be a negative unity feedback system. So now we know the definition of type of system and the basics regarding the type of system. We will now discuss the various types of systems which are there in the control systems. The first one is the type 0 system. The system whose open loop transfer function has no pole at origin is a type 0 system. For example, if GSHS is the transfer function for a negative unity feedback system and is equal to S plus 2 over S plus 3 multiplied with S plus 4, then we can say that the system is a type 0 system because it is not having any pole at the origin. There are two poles. One pole is present at S equal to minus 3 and the other one is at S equal to minus 4 but no pole is at s equal to 0, that is, at the origin. So now we are done with the type 0 system. The next category is type 1 system. The system whose open loop transfer function has one pole at origin is a type 1 system. For example, if GSHS is the transfer function of a unity feedback system and is equal to s plus 2 over s multiplied with s plus 3 multiplied with s plus 4, now we can see in this transfer function, one pole is present at the origin and that's why the type of the system is equal to 1. Remember, the open loop transfer function is represented as GSHS even though it is a unity feedback system and we know the value of HS is equal to 1 but we will represent the open loop transfer function as GSHS. Now, the third one is the type 2 system. The system whose open loop transfer function has two poles at origin is a type 2 system. For example, if GSHS is the transfer function of a unity feedback system with a negative feedback and is equal to S plus 2 over S square multiplied with S plus 1 multiplied with S plus 2. Now we can see this transfer function is having four poles out of which two poles are present at origin, one pole is at s equal to minus 1 and one pole is at s equal to minus 2. But since there are two poles present at the origin, the type of the system is 2 and that's why this is a type 2 system. So we can say that if the open loop transfer function of a negative unity feedback system is having n number of poles at origin, then the type of that system will be n and it will be called as a type n system. So I hope the type number and the type of system is clear to you. We will now discuss the order and the type of system with the help of an example. Determine the type and the order of the following systems. We will have some systems here and we need to determine the type and the order. We know that the type of a system is the number of poles present at the origin. And what is the order of a system? We have discussed in the previous lectures. The order of a system is the highest power of s in the transfer function or we can say that the order of a function is the number of effective energy storing elements. So we are having a table here and we will have some examples here. One by one we will fill the type and the order in this table. So the example number one is GSHS equal to 1 over s plus 1. What is the type of this system? It is 0. It is a type 0 system because it is not having any pole at the origin. 
and what is the order yes it is a first order system because the highest power of s in this transfer function is 1 moving on to the part 2 which is gshs equal to 1 over s squared plus s plus 1 now what is the type of system again it is a type 0 system because we are not having any pole at s equal to 0 if we factorize this quadratic equation we will not have any pole at origin and that's why the type of the system is 0 but the order of this system is 2 because the highest power of s in the transfer function is 2 moving on to the part 3 gshs equal to 1 over s multiplied with s plus 1 multiplied with s plus 2 now in this transfer function we are having one pole at the origin so definitely the type for this system is 1 so this is a type 1 system now what is the order of this system the order of this system is 3 because if we multiply the factors of s then we will have the highest power as 3 we will have a term as cube in the denominator so the highest power of s will be equal to 3 and that's why the order is 3 moving on to the fourth part gshs equal to s plus 1 over s square multiplied with s plus 4 now how many poles are there at the origin yes s square represents that there are two poles present at the origin and that's why the type of the system is 2 it is a type 2 system but what is the order it is not 2 if we multiply s square with s then we will have s cube and then the highest power of s is equal to 3 and that's why the order of the system is equal to 3 it is a third order system we can say it is a type 2 order 3 system similarly moving on to the last part gshs equal to s over s multiplied with s square plus 4 this system is having a pair of complex conjugate poles one pole at the origin and one zero at the origin now what is the type and order for this system the type is one and order is three right no this zero at the origin and the pole at the origin will get cancelled that is they will cancel each other's effect and we will have gshs equal to one over s square plus four in this way we do not have any pole at the origin and that's why the type of this system is zero it is a type zero system the order is 2 because the highest power of s will be equal to 2. In this way, we have calculated the type and the order of all these systems and now we are done with this lecture. Thank you for watching this lecture. I'll end this lecture here. See you in the next one.